Herbert and Florence Irving. M.S. Irving and her husband's estate are giving $80 million to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Metropolitan Museum of Art and what may indicate a new level of donor confidence in the Metropolitan Museum of Art's management, one of its trustees is giving more than $80 million to the museum, the Met announced on Thursday. The contribution, from the trustee, Florence Irving, and the estate of her husband, Herbert Irving, a co-founder of the food services giant Cisco Corporation who died last year, comes at a time when the Met has made a concerted effort to come back from a period of internal turmoil and financial crisis. The museum's latest annual report, also released Thursday, suggests that the Met is making progress. Where a shortfall of $15 million had been projected for the fiscal year 2017, which ended in June, that figure was contained to $10.1 million, according to the report, and the Met said it is on track to eliminate its deficit by 2020. In addition, the museum's endowments increased by almost $300 million, to a total of $2.9 billion, and the Met said it raised $232 million in philanthropic gifts, membership dues and government support. The Irving Bequest, the largest financial gift to the Met in recent history, will establish an unrestricted art acquisitions endowment fund, as well as several endowment funds for the Department of Asian Art. These funds will support acquisitions, exhibitions and publications of the arts of China, Japan, Korea, Southeast Asia, South Asia and the Himalayas, with a preference for Chinese decorative arts and Indian and Southeast Asian art, the Irving's collecting fields. We've made really good progress. Daniel H. Weiss, the Met's president and chief executive, said, adding that the museum had stabilized over the last nine months. Joshua Bright for the New York Times and Endowment will also support the Florence and Herbert Irving Galleries for South and Southeast Asian Art, named by the Irvings in 1994. In 2004, the museum designated the Florence and Herbert Irving Asian Wing. The Irvings on Thursday also extended their largesse to Columbia University and New York Presbyterian, giving $600 million to the two institutions to advance their research and clinical programs for cancer treatment. In an interview in his office, Daniel H. Weiss, the Met's president and chief executive, said the museum was turning a corner. We've made really good progress, he said, adding that the museum had stabilized over the last nine months and that the community is in a much better place, Mr. Weiss said that the Met has committed to increasing transparency to providing more detailed information to the board to ensure better financial oversight and to improving communication between the administration and the staff. Over the past year, the Met has been able to increase revenue and reduce costs, Mr. Weiss said. Its once-money losing retail operations, for example, are now breaking even. The museum has cut back its special exhibitions to about 45 from about 60 and reduced its staff through buyouts and layoffs. We were doing too many things, Mr. Weiss said. We are a smaller organization than we were a year ago. At the same time, Mr. Weiss added, we still have the most ambitious scholarly special exhibition program in the world. Sheena Wagstaff, the Met's chairwoman for modern and contemporary art. Rebecca Smine for the New York Times. The Met is in the process of refining a proposal to charge admissions to non-New Yorkers. And a search is underway for a new director to replace Thomas P. Campbell, who resigned under pressure in February. M.R. Weiss, to whom any new director would report under a recent management reorganization, said it was too early to discuss possible candidates or a timetable for the selection. While the Mets' renovation of its modern and contemporary wing is on the back burner, it continues to study how best to use the Brewer Building. The museum has yet to determine whether it will continue to use that satellite location after its eight-year lease is up. While the brewer has made a meaningful contribution and attendance there has been consistent with that of the Whitney Museum of Art's best years there, Mr. Weiss said, it's a bigger commitment to make it run than we thought. If we continue beyond eight years, we want to have a sustainable operating model and we haven't done that yet, he added. We're now looking at how to do that more efficiently. There is a significant amount of fundraising involved, Mr. Weiss said the museum is planning to modify the Brewer exhibition program, keeping a modern and contemporary emphasis but with a little bit more presence of the permanent collection. Sheena Wagstaff, the Mets chairwoman for modern and contemporary art, said this was always part of the plan for the Brewer, which next fall will devote a floor to abstract expressionism and related work. We always intended to put the collection at Brewer at some point. Ms. Wagstaff said, we've been open now for 18 months, so we do have plans to integrate more of our collection into the Brewer program as of next year.